Shown here is a permanent bar magnet where you have a north and south pole. Let's look inside this permanent magnet and we see it's like a series of smaller magnets lined up to form this bigger magnet. Next I'll show you a compass and we'll see its reaction and we see that the south end of the compass is attracted to the North Pole and as I move you could see that now the north end of the compass is attracted to the south pole of the permanent magnet as I go around and around and you can see the compass start spinning. Now if I flip the polarity what should we expect? Well we should expect this behavior where the south end of the compass is attracted to the north pole of the permanent magnet. Now let's look at its magnetic field. And you can see it sort of forms a closed loop going from the north to the south end. Now if I show a compass, you could see the compass aligns with the magnetic field. Also take note that this magnetic field is stationary and is not changing with time. And next I'll show you the magnetic field gets weaker and weaker as I go farther from the permanent magnet. I'll show you the strength of the magnetic field with this magnetic field instrument or field meter. Shown here is the symbol for a magnetic field B and it uh, has a bar over it showing that it's a vector having magnitude and direction. The BX stands for the X component of the field and the BY stands for the Y component direction of the field. Now using the Pythagorean theorem where we take the square root between the BX or the X component squared and the Y component squared we get the overall field strength. So for example let's say I take the field here and we could see that the Y component is weak. Alright I can get it so we know it's fully horizontal. Alright and so most of the strength of the magnetic field is from the X component. And if I position the meter here, you could see that the Y component is zero and it only consists of the X direction component. If I put it here, where it's nearly vertical, then we see the X component is almost zero and that the overall field strength is dominated by this uh, Y component in the negative direction. And likewise if I put it in the positive we see that the X component is nearly zero and that the overall field strength is dominated by the Y component. Now let's start off very close to the magnet and you see that as I go farther and farther away the magnetic field gets weaker and weaker on the positive side and same goes with the negative side as well. As I go farther and farther it gets weaker and weaker. Also shown on the magnetic field is a unit called Gauss and 10,000 Gauss is equal to one Tesla and one Tesla has units of Weber's per meter squared. You'll cover this in more detail in your physics classes. Also shown here is the degrees with respect to the north. If I flip the polarity we can see that it's close to zero with respect to the north. Right? So you can see here's the vector direction. This is along the zero angle 
and as I increase it here this will be like 45 degrees and I go right here you could see that this vector in particular is almost pointing straight up not quite but that's at 90 degrees and then here we have a vector pointing straight down close to straight down right here let's say so that's about negative 90 degrees see if I can find another one where it's almost pointing straight down right here so you can see that it's pointing at negative 90 degrees here it's pretty close to zero okay the angle that is and then right here let's see if there's one with 180 degrees Okay, there's pretty close to 180 where you could see this is the arrow of the north part of the magnetic field. Okay, so that shows you that a magnetic field has both magnitude and direction.